continued the news with a real, underestimated problem which had been discussed for the past few years in developed countries. Until today, Romania hadn't truly concentrated on this issue, but this year in particular showed that the effects of global warming are worrisome. The Smith family is one of the many examples of people who are experiencing this threat. Meredith Jones. Mr. Duncan, what can you tell us about the problems that you are dealing with? Poverty is one of the most important problems that we are facing. Then we have no water supplies given to the high temperatures and also the disappearance of the river which is next to us. Plus the animals we used to hunt are nowhere to find. We are truly desperate. And what determines you to, uh, to move here? I am overwhelmed by the situation I got into. Ten years ago, the flu destroyed our home and uh, we had to find a shelter somewhere else. We had no money and uh, our only option was to leave. Mrs. Susie, how do you succeed in providing supplies for your family? I must confess that it was extremely hard to make ends meet. We faced a great amount of issues during our stay here and the isolation made it almost impossible to cope with the rough conditions. Given the, lately, the latest phenomena, we had to cut off from our sources and our food supplies and we had to survive in this way. It is flabbergasting whatsoever how people can live in such a desolated places when they have no other choice. Did you have moments when you thought you were not going to make it? Unfortunately, there were moments when I felt I couldn't carry on anymore. We have so little compared to our previous lifestyle. No electricity, no neighbors, no transportation, no shops. Everything seems to be surreal, like it never existed, like we never experienced that kind of comfort. That's why I feel like I hit the rock bottom, no escape, no turning back, no future. Joanna, are you going to school? No, uh, when I lived in the other house, I was going to a school that I really liked. There were many children that I was getting along with, but uh, mom and dad couldn't let me study there anymore. Uh, so uh, we had to look for, uh, for a new place of our own. Uh, I wish I had remained. Taylor. Thank you, Meredith. And now let's meet Mark Brown, an ex-ecologist who decided to stop people's indifference. Sam Miller. Mr. Mark, what determines you to give up the life from the city to live in forests? Well, for many years I was preoccupied studying the global warming and stuff, and uh, I was trying to find a way to solve all these problems, but unfortunately people don't care about this, and even if they are facing uh, dramatic wet, uh, climate changes or uh, fire that burns all the forests or uh, um, unclear delimitations between the season, they don't seem to care about this and I am trying to find a problem to solve this and uh, make their behavior uh, rise because their behavior is uh, totally a bad one and their behavior also made me realize that uh, mankind has almost no, no fate. Which are the present life conditions? At the moment, even uh, this uh, particular area is affected by uh, climate change, which uh, worries me a lot. More and more species of plants and animals are becoming extinct. The woods are drying and the air is almost unbreakable. The agriculture is quite hard to practice and the crops are insufficient. What are your conclusions? As far as I am concerned, individuals' lack of uh, interest is a crucial issue and their actions are bound to have negative consequences. They should unit uh, forces in their battle against the danger of their own disappearance and, uh, and life. In general, they uh, should uh, give up on using so much electricity and uh, use uh, renewable energy sources, plant trees and... Taylor. Thank you, Sam. Global warming is a real problem which we should treat seriously. This was all for today. Good night.